Sabbatically Speaking, written by Nana Awredamwa, published in 2015, read by Nade De Butri, all rights reserved. Sabbaticals Chapter 1 My Rome was built, but not in a day. I greet you in the name of Kapuchichi, whose mantra was Kanewu, loosely translated as Speak your mind and damn any consequences. And who was the only one to ask the Oman Hene, but that he couldn't realize it himself when he was Sebi Sebi, not acting wisely? One day soon, I will tell you all about the legend of Kapuchichi, a drunk who spoke his mind. But mind you, what a man says when drunk, he thought about while sober. When overtaken by the spirit which is imbibed in liquid form and manifests later in the gaseous state via the buccal cavity, Wafa Kapuchichi was known to take short calculator steps from the Liberty Fan Club to the Oman Hennes Palace. Confronted by the children who used to follow him and queried if he would ever reach his destination at that slow pace, Wafa would retort that even the ants reached its destination as long as it didn't stop walking. We love to quote the saying, Rome was not built in a day, but we fail to remember that Rome was eventually built, and it must have been so magnificent that when people admired it, they were told that it didn't happen in just a day. The question then is, if Rome was not built in a day, how was it built? Answer, it was built every day. I started my career with Unilever Ghana in June 2000 and one of my early influences in the Tema outfit was a tall, white Zimbabwean who looked very much like Abraham Lincoln. And this resemblance must have affected how he inspired us, even if in a subtle way. He was our HR director. Norman Swanepoel always made it a point to share a thought-provoking message, either via song or word, at every company-wide briefing. Town hall meeting, we call them. The entire workforce from the board to the lowest grade of unionized staff attended. These nuggets from Norman touched me greatly as a young assistant manager in his mid-twenties. Today, I woke up with one of the songs Norman loved playing on my mind, titled Proud. The main line in the song was, What have you done today to make you feel proud? Norman asked us to reflect on the song every day as managers and as Ghanaians, to question ourselves before we retire to bed, what we had done in the day to make our company, our country, and our lives better, for which we were proud. When I studied for a year in Nottingham for my postgraduate degree, one thing that struck me most was that any time I went to the city centre, some construction work was going on, and by the next time I went, it would have been completed and another started. Sometimes road repairs would happen overnight. A tram line would have been laid where it wasn't before. Little projects, but then, almost imperceptibly, the city centre was changing before my eyes. Building Nottingham just like Rome, a day at a time. The one day at a time concept, little steps for which one can be proud, is one key lesson I picked from Norman. It was Confucius who said that, be not afraid of growing slowly. Be afraid only of standing still. And that reflects for me how Rome was built, slowly but surely. However, once there is forward movement, incremental momentum builds and acceleration ensues. Nkrumah declared that we faced neither east nor west, but we faced forward. But see, it is also possible to face forward and just look at the horizon. Sometimes, as I think of Ghana, I am tempted to believe that we kept looking east and west and never made up our minds, so we just stood still. And I have countless examples of sectors in our economy and nation building where instead of building every day, we have demolished. Our railways, our museums, our libraries, our schools, our educational system, our parks and gardens. Our films, our writing, our road infrastructure, our electricity generation and supply, our manufacturing, our lives. Ghana will not be built in a day, but it should be built every day 
and the body that houses the eyes reading this owns the hands that will ensure this. Till I come your way with another sabbatical, I remain sabbatically yours. Kapuchichi Wafase. P.S. In 2007, I spent a month on short-term attachment in Unilever, South Africa, and traveled by road from Bugsbeck to Durban to visit my friend Gary Jones. I spent a night in his house. A major highlight of my visit was breakfast with the retired Norman Swanepoel. Now I bring you the song titled Proud by Heather Small. I look into the window of my mind Reflections of the fears I know 